Good morning. I'm coming to you live and in color from Hope Lutheran Church on this beautiful Thursday. This is not the season of Thanksgiving, but my focus today is on the attitude of gratitude. Sometime last week, I was with one of my older tennis buddies. He's 78, still active. But deserves the senior citizen title and he made an interesting comment to me that has stuck with me really made an impression I was remarking on how people were wearing masks even at the swimming pool and uh, possibly that that was just an overreaction and, and way too cautious and my friend Bill very subtly applied God's convicting law to me. He pointed out that we're dealing with a loss of freedoms in this country, not freedom, capital F in general, but our personal freedoms, the limitations and restrictions that we're encountering these days. And he basically said, we're not handling that very well because we're not accustomed to it. We've always been practically unlimited. Do anything at any time, anywhere, however we felt like doing it. That was one of the benefits of living in the United States. And so he said that the the loss of freedom, the restrictions that we're, we're dealing with now, gonna pinch and maybe even embitter us and, and promote a, a habitual complaining. I realized that was me. The restrictions on movement, the restrictions on interaction in uh, the, this time of responding to coronavirus, the restrictions on where you can shop and eat, how you can shop and eat, everything kind of uh, closed off and brought in tighter. Now, I haven't liked it. And I think I probably have been complaining and grinching and wishing that we could get back to how things were so good six months ago. So honestly, after that conversation, I resolved to be thankful for what I do have, for all of the blessings that we still enjoy, all the opportunities that are still out there. Life has not come to an end and we can still receive the gifts of God and put those into use in wonderful and marvelous ways with a lot of variety, a lot of opportunities. And so the, this is taking a different perspective, not looking at what we've lost or had to give up, but focusing on the abundance of what we still have because of God's gracious love. That leads me to Psalms 42 and 43, where I discovered that the same declaration is made three times. So I'm going to read it three times, it's worth it. Here's what it says, Psalm 42 and Psalm 43. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Amen.